since my speech at the Izmir University last week, there have been a lot of reactions to what I said, especially to my uh, criticism on the main opposition party, uh, the CHP. Um, and what I would like to do is, is to explain what I said and what I didn't say. Uh, what I didn't say, uh, and I want to be clear on that, is calling the CHP a disaster or uh, saying that the European Social Democrats are ashamed of CHP. That's what I did not say. What I did say, and I would like to repeat that here, is that looking from a European perspective to what Turkish parties are doing, uh, if one looks at the behavior of AKP and CHP, there is a clear difference. AKP has put forward reforms uh, to bring Turkey closer to the European Union. Uh, on all those reforms uh, during the last couple of years, for instance, Article 301, for instance, the law and foundations, the CHP voted against. And what I've said in my speech is that we in Europe, we don't understand what the European policy of CHP is, not only myself, but also my colleagues from the Social Democrats. That is our criticism on CHP, that the European policy is not clear and that, in fact, the only party, the only major party in the Turkish parliament which is in favor of European reforms seems to be the AKP. For a, someone from the left, that is a pity because I would like to see a strong left pro-European party in Turkey as well. Then a, a second point of criticism after my speech was uh, why did I intervene uh, as a European politician into Turkish politics? I think there, there is a basic misunderstanding about what the whole accession process of Turkey to the European Union is all about. When Turkey wants to become a member of the European Union, when it wants to join uh, the club of European countries, the European Union will be looking at you as well. This is not a one-way uh, process. If you want to join, if Turkey wants to join the club, the club will intervene in your politics. Not only myself, also my colleagues, the European Commission. We are watching what's happening in Turkey. And when we see a development that we think is not good for Turkey's accession process, we will say so. It's my obligation as the chair of the European uh, Turkey delegation to be critical on AK Party when necessary, on CHP when necessary. We are not critical on one party only. We criticize when we think, from a European perspective, that things are not uh, developing in, in the right way. That is what happened, uh, and that's why I think the criticism that I should not get involved in uh, Turkish in, in, internal politics is not correct. Turkish internal politics, when it is about Turkish accession to the European Union, is also European policy, and therefore we as European politicians should be involved as well. I also want to make it clear that, yes, uh, I was critical uh, on CHP policies uh, to Europe, but in the same speech I was also very critical on some policies by the AK party. Um, I'm telling this because to underline the point that I'm not uh, working for one party or another party, I'm working from a European perspective, I'm, I praise parties when they do good things and I criticize them when they don't. To give you one example, uh, I said in Izmir on May 2, one day after the May 1 events in Istanbul, that I think that AK Party handled the issue on May 1 on Taksim very badly. I don't understand why the trade unions could not march uh, at Taksim, and I don't understand why such a huge, huge police force had to be used to uh, hit at the, at the demonstrators. I've said it in Izmir, I repeat it again. It's an example where we as European politicians also criticize the government when necessary. In, in the future, uh, you will see more of criticism coming from Europe, from myself, from uh, my colleagues, because we are looking very closely what is happening in Turkey. And I think what we are doing is try to defend democracy in Turkey. When one party is doing a good thing, we will say so. When another party is doing a bad thing, we will say so as well. That is our task as European politicians. I'm afraid that although maybe some Turkish politicians won't like that, that's the way, that's part and parcel of becoming a member of the European Union. Uh, I sincerely hope that we'll have more praise than criticism in the, in the upcoming years, be it for the government, be it for the AK Party or for CHP. That is our role and that is what I think is going to happen in the next couple of years.